You'll be working for Major Wilson. You do know I'm entirely unsuitable for a young lady like you. I just need to know who he was. We decided to retain Alec as a man of mystery because he still is for all of us as a family. The department's gonna fire me. It'll be very public. We still don't know the real truth about who he was, about why he got sacked from MI6, the reasons why he married these women. We don't have any written account from him about his feelings, about his justifications. As I went on the research process, I kept learning new things and I kept changing my mind. Is he a good man? Is he a flawed man? Is he an absolute charlatan? All the kids from the family all have very fond memories of him. Apart from Douglas, who never met him, but everyone else has very fond memories of him as a father. He sent money, he visited, never missed a birthday. But he was loving, told stories, was full of life and gregarious and fascinating and exciting. All of his children and all of the wives, they loved him so much. Everyone's very conscious that he's portrayed in a good light because ultimately, you know, he was a good man and he loved his children and he was a good father. And Whatever was going on, he was, uh, I think he had a good intent, he had a good heart, which doesn't, you know, it doesn't excuse or mitigate everything. He was a very successful fiction writer. He had a really profound belief in his country, in the war, and what, what he could do to help the cause. It's my cover. You know that. The work he did in the Secret Services mean you had to you had to have different personas. You had to kind of uh, and you had to completely commit to them because it was very dangerous if you were found out. You have your whole life ahead of you, Alison. I've lived too many lives already. A combination of one woman's journey through discovery of who her husband is, but it's in hindsight with more information than she ever had. It's a slight embellishment of her story. It brings in my grandfather's story and the other women that were involved. It's about one woman discovering who this man is and how it then affects her life and how she deals with that. And it's about secrets and lies, what you decide to tell your family members. I have genuinely no idea who Dad was. How do I know you're not lying as well? It's all based in truth. Every, every moment on this job, you know, you're, you're constantly having to remind yourself that truth is, is much stranger than fiction in this case. Stories like this about families and secrets, they're very enduring because we all have them. All families have, you know, their stories. And they did divorce in 1940, not according to our records. Well, then your records are wrong. Ruth Wilson, who plays the main uh, lady, in it, it's, her, it's her family, it's her, her grandmother who she plays, and I play her grandfather who was a complete uh, mystery to the family, everything that unfolded after he died. You were married to a pathological liar, accepted. It's really from her perspective, and it's looking at this quite extraordinary, um, hidden personality. Why are you for a crime that you haven't committed? There won't be a trial. I'll stay here until I get what I need, and then I'll come home. Sorry, I can't do this anymore. Well, don't visit me. It's fine. No, I'm leaving you, Alec. We need money. The rent's overdue. We've got no food. Your children are hungry, Alec. I'll work something out. Send you some Why don't they pay you properly? Why do we have to live like this? It's my cover. You know that. When I'm out of here, I'll, I'll sort it all out. I, I promise you. Um, don't leave. I need you. I thought he loved us. I'm his wife. And so is my mother. No, no, she's not. She's deluding herself. He was an intelligence agent. What lies did he tell? You know who I am. We have all sinned. 
Mrs. Wilson on Masterpiece.